Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming with another episode of No Man's Sky. Alrighty, when we left off, we had, well, been dealing with the newest update. Um, made it difficult to complete this mission for <laughs> Ensign Gunka here. Uh, because nearby settlements near my house keep getting attacked. In fact, so many settlements, I'm surprised that I didn't know I had as neighbors. Anyway, not the point. The point is, I'm now finished with the thing. Have you obtained the materials I seek, interloper? Divine elements forged from the sentinels themselves. They will shield us from their sight. I do not have the gold in my hand. Whoops. Uh, whoopsie. Okay, well, that's... <laughs> That's my bad, technically. Uh, what I was supposed to do was get them out of my freighter inventory because that's where I put them. Whoopsie. Um, come on, let me... There we go. All right, and now I can bump it up to 100. There we go, and now I can hand it off to the ensign here. Yes. Good. I shall use it to forge an Exocraft Acceleration Module for future expeditions. Okay. Could have told me that earlier. Oh, an efficient plasma injector coupled to the engine that allows short bursts of speed. Cool. I just need a couple carbon nanotubes. Not bad. None of us lives life alone, Rebel. All of us form attachments, and I must shed the last vestiges of mine. I left my consort in spawn. Okay. I'm behind on my homeworld. My crimes were my own, but they... I must know what happened to them. They have sent me an encrypted transmission. You will use the Exocraft Acceleration Module to reach it before my brethren inevitably delete it. In the process, we can pull mining laser technology from the network. Grom, we will kill two Gek with one blast. Ensign Gunka requires me to use my ex Exocraft Acceleration Module, that's a mouthful, to reach a terminal quickly enough to receive an encrypted transmission. They believe we may also acquire an Exocraft Mining Laser Blueprint while we're at it. Okay, be vigilant, be quick. I require this message. I must know what happened to those I left behind. Well... In that case, uh, let's go ahead and install that, because that's probably... Oh, it already has that. Fantastic. I don't even need to do that. <laughs> cool. Okay, well, time to get on that. Yeah. Received, but it's not showing me it. We're but why does it keep putting me there? All right, let me do this. There we go. Reach the terminal. Oh, I have... I have a... Uh, oh. Oh, okay. That's a short amount of time. Okay. All right. Whoop. I just created roadkill. Sorry. <laughs> Whoops. I'm in a panic, okay? I'm in a panic. I'm trying to get there quickly. Shut up. Leave me alone. The occasional small bit of roadkill is nothing compared to the greater good of helping my crew. <laughs> Even if it was completely on accident, I wouldn't have done it otherwise. Oh, man. Okay, ah, here we are. The location. Whoop. Okay, managed to get there. Roughly in one piece. Okay. Good. Okay. Uh, to the entrance, wherever that is. Looks like it's there. Cool. Alright, time to get into the thing. Alright. Loading transmission. Decrypting subspace frequency. Error. Interception. Witness the price of your heresy, fugitive of the Viking. Know that there is only know that there is no sky in which we cannot find you, no system to which you might flee unscathed. 
Hide, then, in the depths of this galaxy, for we are patient. Know that your spawn wept like mewling geck as we cut them down. Oh my god. That we killed your consort as they fled, leaving the others behind to suffer. Where shall you ever find peace, knowing these things? I don't... Yeah, the message is not what I expected. The technician told me to retrieve a transmission from their family, but this... I must return and decide what to do. Before the transmission closes, I pull the Exocraft mining blueprint from the network. Well, at least I got that. That's a thing, I guess. That's probably good. Ow. I need my ship nearby to get my chromatic metal installed. Man, okay, well, I'll, I'll get back to the ship soon enough. Uh, there is a boost module. Sure, why not? Unstable tanks. Adds to boost power. Okay. Alright, there is a firestorm out here, so I'm going to try and get quickly back. There we go. Ooh, that was close. Alright. And when we get back, I'll install the mining laser. Jesus. Oh, superheated atmosphere improved jet package. See, I wonder if it also applies to boost. Yep, a little. A little bit. Alright. Keep forgetting that that is the weapon. Wow, that has some range. Look at it. Yeah. <laughs> wow, that is something. No parabola or nothing. It just goes straight. That's beautiful. Back to my base, or at least as close to it as I can manage. There we go. I think we're close enough to my ship that I can... Yes! Install the chromatic metal. Beautiful. Alright, starship gave me some of that, it's fine. Why is the multi-tool still showing crap? I don't get it. Yeah, whatever. Objective complete. Alright. I just realized that this... Whoa, this... Whoa, whoa, oh my god. Oh my god. What did I do? <laughs> I managed to get a wedge in here. How did I manage that? Oh, wowzers. Okay, um... There we go. Slowly but surely reorienting it. Okay, I'm knocking things down in the process, but it's fine. It's all fine. I have no protection from the elements in this. I am having my <laughs> heat go down as the storm goes. Well, I guess it's not as bad. At least it's somewhat blunted, but yeah, I'm still having it drop a little bit. I guess the question is, when the storm passes, does it go up again? I guess that's the question. No, it just loses a pip in going down. Because it was going down at two pips prior to. Well, that's annoying. Guess that's something we'll have to fix at some point. Hopefully, you can teach me how to fix that. Anyway, hello, Ensign. My preparations are almost complete. Soon I will purge myself of my old life, of my old attachments, to commit fully to what I must become. But, even if I will remember nothing, I must know. I must know, Traveler. Have you retrieved the transmission? They are frenzied at my approach, excited. Whatever this transmission might contain, whatever system it had been sent from, it would seem to matter a great deal to the Viking. Even telling him that? Uh, I don't... I don't feel like... I 
I don't feel like that's really necessary, but like at the same time, he does want to know. Oh man! Oh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I, I got it. The technician tells me they are going to clean their mind to prepare for their holy task before they remove all thoughts they wish to know what happened to their family. I must know, traveler. Tell me what my consort said. Tell me of my spawn. Please. I have waited so long. The technician was expecting to intercept a message from their consort and spawn, but instead... Instead, I discovered that their family had been killed, murdered by other Viking in retaliation for their heresy. As they stand before me, expectant, nervous, I do not know whether to tell them the truth. He's going to be purging his mind, right? He's not going to remember anything of his past life, right? tempted to lie right here. Really tempted to lie right here. <laughs> Fuck it. Your family is happy. Grah! Your pathetic interpretation. The Viking are never happy. We are proud of our strife, but I am satisfied to hear of this. I think. I think I can do what I must do now. Thank you, friend, for giving me this hope as I fade. When we next speak, I will be reborn. Okay. I am. I am reborn without attachment. I can focus now. Focus on what I must do. Rah! You will require a mining beam in the days to come. Construct one, and I will and I will craft you a nomad exocraft befitting an acolyte of Null. Their face is different beneath the eyes, beneath the soul. They have changed irrevocably. Where once they would insult me with meaningless threats, now they speak only of a singular purpose. Where once they would be capable of happiness or grief, now they only care about their cult, about their supposed purpose. The technician asks me to build an Exocraft mining laser, promising to craft me the blueprint for a new Exocraft, the Nomad. Okay. The world will change. It must. It has to, Traveler. Or else all of this, everything we have done, it will have been for nothing at all. Oh. Okay. Uh, Alright. I already did the crafting part, because I felt it was necessary, and I was right-ish. Uh, speaking of, uh, craft... Oh! I can use oxygen. <laughs> I can use oxygen as a fuel. What? Technology what? Okay, well, now I have a use for all that oxygen. Alright, turn to you. Have you built the mining laser? I hope you enjoy working with Viking technology. Nothing refines the design of a machine like using it in combat. Even if that combat is against the Earth. Confirm it is built. Ooh, I get the Nomad now. Underground secure parking facility for the Nomad Light Exocraft. Okay, I can make that no problem. Excellent work. Your Exocraft mining laser should be powerful enough to extract even magnetized ferrite from this planet. Witness the art of the mech priest, that I can create such marvels. Grah! This universe is a mystery, Traveler. Lives are spent in solving it. We shall do our part. 
Okay. The technician needs me to gather magnetized ferrite, a hyperdense mineral that must be refined. My life will be made easier with the Exocraft mine laser. I, eh, the mining, Exocraft mining laser able to harvest pure ferrite from large deposits. I don't know why I wasn't able to say that. The technician will use this to craft an upgrade from an Exocraft signal booster. Ooh. They say the Viking first rose to the stars in ships crafted from pure magnetized ferrite. Who knows what we will accomplish? Ooh. Gather magnetized ferrite. I have tons of it, though. Don't I? Ah, I was about to say, I have tons of it. <laughs> I have tons of it in my own pocket, in fact. Tell me, traveler, of my previous incarnation. I wiped my memories, purified myself of all that was inessential to my mission. But I am curious. What was I like when you met me? Should I tell him he used to be insulting? I sure as fuck am not telling him that. Uh, you were the same, roughly. Unlikely. We are all defined by our memories, Traveler. I gave up part of who I was. What will you give up, I wonder? Excuse me? Pardon me? Want to run that by me again? Eh? Okay. Alrighty. Okay. Well, now I can actually do this. Have you brought the magnetized ferrite, Traveler? The signals are out there. I know they are. All you need is a signal booster capable of detecting them. I do have the ferrite. I give the technician the ferrite they requested. As they work with it, I examine their station. It is barren now, lacking the flaws, the personality of their previous equipment. I cannot help but miss the way they were before, for all this newfound efficiency and focus. The flaw of their individuality, forever gone, drowned within their great purpose. Ooh, advanced. Beautiful, and I can make that. Take this signal booster. Upgrade it. When it is constructed, I have something else for you. Compensation for your work. I have been analyzing your Exocraft telemetry, you see. It seems that my previous incarnation did not even provide you with the most basic in Exocraft weapon upgrades. Grah, forgive the Viking that I was, Acolyte. It is not polite to withhold firepower. Okay. Cool. Promise me promising upgrades. Your technology multiplies. Soon your exocraft will be the envy of all you encounter. Go, traveler. Build your upgrades. I will continue my great work. Sounds good to me. Uh sounds like something powered down, but I'm not sure what. Oh, they powered up. They're all full. They're all full of energy. Good. Kind of what I was hoping. All right, so the booster will go here. And I have everything required. Beautiful. Actually, speaking of... Oh, I need to make a lot of ion batteries. Oh, boy. I'm running lower than I ever wanted to. There we go. That is sufficient. Sufficient enough, anyway. I will need to make a lot more, but that can wait. Um, hmm. Oh, I forgot to pull these out. <laughs> Whoopsie! Whoopsie, Daisy. Um, so suit. What? I can't... I can't use... Hmm. can't use phosphorus for this can only use it for multi-tool stuff. Come on. That's unstable plasma. That wouldn't help. There we go. That's where the phosphorus would be useful. Can't use it, though. It's annoying. Alright. Um, hmm. This is where pyrite would be useful. If only I had a lot of that. Um... 
that's eh. yeah not a lot of uses for the phosphorus like I was hoping damn it <laughs> oh well oh well it's installed and I'm pretty sure yep that completes that so now I have to talk to the ensign again this might be too early again. Hmm. Since we met, I have thought long and hard about your people, Interloper. There are many so-called travelers scattered across our lore. Herc said we were to aid your people when they made themselves known within our universe. Were they right? Did Nal tell them this? Or was it something else? What if Herc lied about this? as her collide about so many other things. There were those among my cult who believed entities such as yourself should be shot on sight, that you were enemies. I am glad they were wrong. Why must I be aided? Why must the thirsty drink? Why must sleepers rest? It is the command of the universe, traveler. We do as we must. Fair enough. Brah, the blueprints for your weapon upgrade are ready, interloper. Have you improved your scanning equipment yet? Yes. Yes, I have. The technician gives me the blueprints for weapon upgrades, but as they pass them to me, an alert begins to sound on their terminal. Their search is almost complete. A scan has found something. That you chose this world of all worlds to make your home out of infinite impossibilities. Infinite possibilities. I said impossibilities. That was not what I meant to say. But not the point. I did not think it was possible, but my scans have uncovered the truth. Nal itself visited this place. We shall uncover their final words. Use your upgrade... <laughs> Use your upgraded Exocraft signal booster to locate this planet's abandoned structures. Bring me the nanite clusters contained within, and I will use them to forge a new acceleration module for the trials ahead. Doing that voice is giving me a headache. <laughs> it's a weird thing. But yeah, okay, we'll do that. Oh, I, I guess this was longer than I thought. Uh, you cannot know that Nal visited here because you walk through worlds of ruin and wonder at these peoples, at their obsession with their past, at the hatred that tore them asunder. I wonder what the future might hold, what secrets might echo out through the hub of creation. The technician requires nanite clusters to initiate their final ritual. They have an exocraft acceleration module waiting for my return. Cool. Tread carefully, traveler. In all abandoned buildings, there grows a rot. Take the nanite clusters and leave before something notices your theft. Okay. And I can just return back. Also, apparently there's a ship outside. But, oh! Left before I could see what it was. Man! It's fine. It's fine. What I was going to do install this it's a craft cannon upgrade here and it would increase rate of fire hmm that ain't terrible that ain't terrible at all okay ensign I'm back with the nanites have you obtained the nanite clusters the hour draws late and your extra craft acceleration module upgrade awaits there you are the technician. Oh. This was not supposed to be dialogue, and it ended up being dialogue. Someone goofed up a uh, code here. <laughs> the technician takes the nanite clusters as they hold them. They appear to enter some kind of strange trance. After a moment, it is done. There is a strange look behind their eyes. Ensign Gunka informs me that they have taken communion with their ancestors. They know what they need to do now. Traveler, my work is complete. 
I have overridden the ley lines, charged their holy data. They have revealed to me a monolith, a tomb for the final prophecy. If you go there before the ley lines close off, you and you alone will uncover the truth behind my species, the mystery for which Null died. A monolith has been activated. If I reach it quickly enough, I will gain this forbidden knowledge. Cool. The technicians serve their holy purpose, driven to obliterate their own personality in pursuit of this very day, this very moment. I do not know if their sacrifice will be in vain. Well, it's still worth a shot. Oops, helps if I do the right buttons. Right there. There we go. Tank size is up to 15%, and power is up to 10%. Beautiful. Now I need to get to my friggin' thing. Monolith detected. Pretty sure it'll go too quickly if I don't get to my... Where to put it? Where to put the bastard? There's the bastard. Oh, boy. I have less than two minutes. Ooh, okay. All right. Time to run. Hopefully not kill anything in the process. <laughs> Like I did last time. Alright. Up, I didn't mean to crush those. <laughs> oopsie doopsie. Alright. Cool. You're almost there. Whee! Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right. We're there now. You're there now. Finally. Whoop. Oh boy. Oh dear. Oh dear. Okay. That was close. We made it. Now we get our oh, next word for where. Oh, I know. Word for an. And. Word for as. The voice of Null. I approach the monolith. I am engulfed in its terrible truth. I see the words in the text of a thousand tongues, in the ephemera of countless stars witness. Know that I hear the word of the Atlas where Herc has heard nothing. I witness events that occurred millennia before my awakening. I see two Vikings standing before a red glow, asking it, asking it of the universe. Witness. In their rage, in their impotent jealousy, Herc struck me from the mountain and I saw the truth of what the monolith had said. That my end would be an awakening, that in this dream, nothing should perish. I see a Gek and a Corvax waiting side by side before me, and before the vision ends, I see a vision of something I have not seen before, of something that does not belong in this or any place, of hatred, grief, despair, of something that is yet to come. Or so it would be until the coming of the last traveler. So it would be until the destruction of realities. Know this, the final testament of now. I see the end of time, the end of all things, and in that crimson light there is a figure its hand held out before eternity. I see all this, and then it is over. The monolith has nothing more to show me. I leave, shaken by my experience. As I go, I feel something right behind me, breathing, watching. When I turn, it is gone. Huh? Huh? That can't be good. Well. So, Null was 
predestined to die for this to come to pass, I guess. Whoop, okay. And down I go. Okay. Okay. There we go. This way. Oh boy, I'm breaking everything getting through this. Woo! Alright. Okay, well. Um, I think I'm confused. Probably not as much as I should be. What? What is this marker that I'm seeing over here? Is that all underground? Gotta be. Oh. Oh. Curious deposit of runaway mold? Sorry, what? Okay, wow. <laughs> That's a lot of runaway mold. No, you're right. Oh my good golly goodness. How have I never identified this plant either? Yeah, it doesn't matter. Now I have. Also, wow. There we go. I'm getting a lot of runaway mold out of this. Like, insane amounts of from people. <laughs> what am I supposed to think? <laughs> I didn't even know that was possible! But I know what runaway mold can be made into. So that's... wild. To know that that's now a thing. A thing I can just stumble upon. That is wild. Okay, well, they went flying away. Okay, alrighty, time to avoid having that issue happen again. Okay, there we go. Let's park it here. Okay, um... <laughs> what? What the hell? Oh my god, that's a lot of nanite clusters that I've now stumbled upon. And it will take five minutes for all of this. Oh yeah, I know. It's fine, it's fine. Ooh. Ooh, boy. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. Okay. <laughs> wow, that is a lot of nanite clusters I'm just going to have thrown into my pocket. Wow, okay. Well, hello, Ensign Gunka. I envy you, traveler, to see the worlds of Null itself. See the words of Null itself. Rah! With this discovery, you have indicated the actions of a thousand martyrs, Traveler. You deserve your reward. You deserve the Colossus, the largest exocraft in my arsenal. Use it and strike terror upon our enemies. Wow. The Viking believed that their ancestor Herc received wisdom from a great monolith, initiating a war against the Sentinels and slaying Null the Objector. Null objected. That's why he needed to die. The Viking needed an enemy. An enemy outside of its and other species. The enemy is Atlas? And its hands, the Sentinels? Stone 
Please tell me I'm interpreting that correctly. Please tell me, because I'm not sure I am correct. The monolith I discovered proves that this history is a lie. Nal was honored with a vision whilst Herc had been met with only silence. And in their jealousy, Herc murdered Nal. I see. But Nal accepted this because that was supposed to be how it was supposed to be. Yet I am left with questions. I am left thinking of the creature I felt watching me. I am left with dread. The technician offers me the Colossus Geobase schematic. Yeah, I'll take it. The technician passes me the schematic. As they do, their eyes beam with pride and sadness. Wow. That's a lot of stuff. I've transmitted Nal's testament to my brethren, Traveler. What you have learned this day will spread amongst the Viking. It will change our people for the better. Rah! And if violence is required for change, so be it. As for you, you are not as pathetic as I once believed. You are no longer interloper. You are one of us now. Now until the end of time itself, enthroned in the glory of the Colossus. The, te the technician waits anxiously to see my Colossus Exocraft in its full glory. I watch as they begin to forge an upgrade for my Exocraft mining laser, surrounded by schematics and sharks. Okay. The Colossus is a fine craft. They say, they say Herc and Nal rode one together before their end. Well. The question is, where do I put it? <laughs> I already had trouble figuring out where I was going to put this thing. Quite frankly, I'm not convinced that's the best spot for it. So, I have no idea. I have no idea at all. Nomad Geobay and the Colossus Geobay. You know what? Yeah. Second, no what? I'm just gonna flatten out this area here. Flatten it out. Put it here. Because why not? Eh. Why the hell not? I control this planet. It is under my domain now. I can place whatever the fuck I want, wherever the fuck I want. <laughs> this is going to be one of those times. Okay. Um, let's go green, of course, because that is how I do. And we rotate it. Yep, there we go. Oops, that's not what I wanted. This is what I wanted. Do this. And this. Return to the tech. Whoa! <laughs> Holy shit, this thing is massive. Okay. Okay, well, let's change up the color a bit, shall we? Main paint. Yeah, there we go. Actually, you know what? I'm not sure if I want light gray. Yeah, no, light gray works. Okay. Decals. Uh, where's... Where's the chevron? Where is it? Is that eight? There we go, eight. There we go. Man. Right on the front windshield, huh? Yeesh. Left tanks, chevron there, good. Right tanks, chevron there. Engine housing, chevron there. And the rocket unit, which I can't see because of the thing in the way. God damn it, I should have taken out more. Okay, and accent color, screw it. Yes, I'm applying these changes. And I'm also digging out these rocks. Just screw this. There's no reason to have this here. None of this needs to be here at all. None of this. None of this. None of this. None of this at all needs to be here. There we go. There we go. There we go. Much better. Now I can actually see what I'm doing. 
<laughs> that section, right? I can probably still... No, I can't. <laughs> no, I can't. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's all fine. It's fine. You want to know why? Because it's fine. Alright. Actually. Hey. I can adjust with this now. Wow, that's a lot. Holy crap, that's a lot of space. Okay, um... Okay, we'll put that in. We'll put this and this in. Eh, screw it. We'll finish up these parts. And we'll finish up this. And I shall also install this. There we go, the canyon. Install those. Complete. Really, all I need to do is the carbon nanotube, so screw it. I'll just do that and finish this up. Ta-da! Ha-ha! Beautiful. Oh, it was the car... Oh. Oh, boy. I don't even know what was there. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. I have no idea what was there. Oh. I ran out of power here before this finish. There we go. Beautiful. 500 nanite clusters. Wow. Wowzers. Okay. Uh, put that here for now. Good. And... Alright. Kind of curious... How this arrives. Oh my good god. It is a hulking behemoth. And aiming is a bitch and a half because it's all on top. Alright. There is no way to aim this thing properly. Oh my god. Woo! Look at that go. But, yeah. Let me see if I can even aim. Technically, yeah. Technically, I can aim. Below, it's just a pain in the ass to do. I wonder, actually, can I actually mine these from here? I can, just not well. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, that worked. Not ideally, but it worked. There's that, <laughs> at least. Alright, okay. And at least this takes oxygen as a power source, which means getting a lot of oxygen won't be an issue. What am I doing? There we go. That's what I wanted. Okay, so now I have built the Colossus and the Roma. There we go. Jeez. Oh my gods, I phased into it. There we go. Now it looks less stupid. What is this? <laughs> what was that about? There we go. Get rid of some of the extra crap I don't need. Most of it's extra crap I don't need. Okay. Alright. We have done it. We've built the big exocraft. And now we talk to... Ensign Gunka. Finalize stuff with you. Have you constructed the Colossus Geobank? Have you struck terror into the hearts of all those who oppose you? Yes. Sir. Gra, a careful answer. You must strike terror if you are to succeed in life, Traveler. You will subjugate this world with the power of the Colossus. Here is an Exocraft vehicle laser upgrade to assist with the task. Ooh. Oh, it increases the power of the mining laser. That's good. I have almost exhausted the limits of my work, but soon you shall have a mastery of this planet signal 
and the speed in which to reach any threat. I require only sufficient nanite clusters to build the final blueprints. Rah! This employment has been one of glory. More nanite clusters. Something is wrong. Some time ago, I saw the Viking with an image of their family, before they performed some ritual to erase such attachments from their mind. As I approach now, I see that same image. The technician stares at it, blinking for a few moments with an empty expression. When they notice me, they remove the photograph from the display. We do not speak of it again. I do not wish to awaken their pain. They desire only nanite clusters, not my sympathy. As I said before, be careful in those abandoned buildings, traveler. Do not lose yourself in the hunt. And I will absolutely add that, because why would I not? Beautiful, beautiful, and done. Mining laser power up 62%, advanced exocraft mining laser, which allows me to burn through those runaway <laughs> mold clusters that I ran into a little bit ago. Because I needed to have a stronger laser, which I didn't have in the exocraft, but I did have on my multi-tool. Now the exocraft has it. <laughs> Ah, oh, that's beautiful. I love it. I love it. Return to the technician. Do you have the nanite clusters? Give them to me, please. The technician's hands shake. It is then that I notice the blueprint is already waiting on the technician's terminal. They require these nanite clusters for some alternative purpose. They are desperate for the substance, refusing to hand over the blueprints without them. Okay. The Viking takes them greedily, turning to imbibe them. Whatever effect this matter has upon the alien, it appears to calm their movements considerably. Sated, they offer me the blueprints. And we're up to signal booster upgrade towel. Okay. The nanite clusters. Their purpose is commonly misunderstood. They form the backbone of much technology, but they are not just machines. They can alter hearts, alter minds, even allow us to forget that which we cannot bear. The technician has a final reward, an acceleration module for my Nomad Exocraft, once I have constructed its geobay. Okay, good. Let me know when the Nomad geobay is built. Gra, I cannot wait witness its glory. Okay. So, um... It's perhaps out of range. How is it out of range? Oh, because it's over there. That explains it. That explains why it's out of range. Nomad Geo Bay would be here, and I should do that, but in a bit. Uh, what I will do first is adding the towel. There we go. Beautiful. And that is done. I guess I just need to construct the geo bay for the nomad to get that completed, right? Yeah, I have to construct that, so that's required. That is required of me, of course it is. Well, with that in mind, A, do that, B, turn it around so I can butts with it once I make it. Whoopsie! There. Good, we made it. Alright, we are a little over time, so I guess we'll... <laughs> push some of this into the next episode uh for right now though gotta end this one wow i have a lot of milestones <laughs> and i yet i still have more to get so it's not what i want i want here better 
Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And share in comments so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one and the only Stray Cat. Playing games and trying to, well, finish up the base Exocraft uh, staff missions. And we're getting pretty far. But at the same time, we're having a lot of missions pop up from this guy a lot more than I did with any of the others I think it feels like it's more than the others so I guess we'll see how this one turns out as we continue on for me and for you